This is by far one of the most beautiful places that I've ever been to in my life. And this hotel supposedly has an awesome breakfast buffet. Let's go check it out. I've heard a lot of good things about this breakfast buffet. Just after a quick glance, there's a lot of stuff here. Let's go take a look. Starting out, there's tons of cold cuts, cheeses, there's Indian food, breads, bagels, smoked salmon. There's a Mexican station with tortilla, beans, pulled pork, tamales, traditional breakfast offering like roasted potatoes, sausage, scrambled eggs, and that's just half the breakfast buffet. There's all sorts of juices, smoothies, bacon, sausage, roast pork, and glazed ham. There's salads, yogurts, Oh my gosh, look at all the pastries. Muffins, croissants, danishes. And what breakfast wouldn't be complete with some hot chocolate and all the toppings you could possibly want. Then the desserts continue with puddings, cakes, different flavors of ice cream. And look at this, a popsicle station. Cereal, of course. There's French toast, pancakes, steamed mackerel, what? There's stewed kunk, sheep tongue, grits, johnny cake, more fruits, omelet station, and dim sum. There's congee, there's chicken noodle soup, spring rolls, steamed buns. This might be one of the most loaded all-you-can-eat buffets I've seen outside of Vegas. This breakfast sandwich looks gooey, meaty, and delicious. Some cold cuts, get some pastrami. Never had this cheese before. Breakfast round one. This looks like a salami cheese croissant sandwich. I'm just gonna add some pastrami and some of the spicy hummus. Oh yeah, I've been starving since about four o'clock this morning. And this is such a satisfying bite. By the way, this buffet opens at 7.30 in the morning with all the stuff you see here. Buttery croissants loaded with meat, cheese, add some of that spicy hummus for a bit more of meat. Oh, this cheese is so creamy. Smoked sandwich delicious. I am so excited for my tamale. This is actually a really good tamale. Stuffed with pork. It's soft, moist, a little grainy. Nice, gentle sweetness from the masa texture, flavor. Well, that's a pretty good tamale. Round two, got myself a very loaded breakfast taco. Stuffed with barbecue pork, guacamole, salsa, and cheese. That is one tender, tender. Melts in your mouth, shredded barbecue pork. That thing is juicy, sweet, smoky. Guacamole is creamy. Salsa got a good amount of heat. That's a very solid breakfast taco. What I'm really excited is to try that local Bahamian food section and also all those crazy breakfast desserts. Local food first. All right, got some steamed mackerel, some stewed conch, sliced ham, and roast pork, which might have been a mistake. Yeah, it looked kind of dry when she was slicing it, and it tastes like it looks. That tastes drier than a planet of Tatooine. This is really exciting. Steamed mackerel, and it had a bowl of chilies on the side. Mmm. That is really, really good. Especially if you add the chili sauce, which is made with scotch bonnet peppers. One of my favorite peppers in the world. The mackerel is savory, a little sweet, very juicy and tender. They put a lot of local herbs and spices in here as well. Mm, I think this is freaking awesome. Conk stew. Look at this giant pieces of conk, potatoes, carrots. I put scotch bonnet peppers in here as well, as the chef recommended that I do. Well, this is freaking outrageous. And the flavor of the stew is very deep and savory. This thing is very thick and rich. The conch has a very mild, slightly sweet, slightly briny taste to it. I think it tastes very close to a giant razor clam. And in every bite, you get this aromatic warmth that comes from the stew that just spreads through your body. And the savoriness of the stew really complements the sweetness of the conch. And the scotch bonnet sauce that they have, it adds a lot of acidity to cut into the richness of the stew. And of course, giant chunks of conch in the stew. 
And it's really interesting when you chew the kunk, at first you get all the blend of spices and flavors from the stew. At the end though, all you're tasting is the sweetness of the kunk. It's really amazing. I love it. Ooh, my favorite thing on the buffet right now. They give you a little container for the syrup. I just filled it up with scotch bun and chili sauce. This is another very traditional local dish. Sheep's tongue sauce. So a stewed sheep tongue. I don't think I've ever had sheep's tongue before. Oh, look at this. This is some gnarly stuff. Besides the skin and the meat, there's some cartilage in here as well. Wow. Some celery, onions, carrots. The broth is very citrusy. Let's try a sheep's tongue. That is a crunchy, crunchy tongue. I've had a lot of um, animal tongue in my day. I've never had a crunchy one before. Oh, I like it. The tongue flavor itself is very mild, it's meaty. Nothing gamey about this at all. The crunchy cartilage kind of reminds me of a pig's ear. I think that's because the base of the sheep tongue, the connective tissue, has some cartilage in there. Yeah, the sheep's tongue is my favorite part. Celery is nice and crunchy as well. Mmm, that Johnny cake is really good. This thing is really fluffy, also sweet and buttery. I like that a lot. Mmm, go get more cunk stew. Stew's my favorite thing. I definitely feel like it's much better once you add some scotch bonnet peppers. It goes from great to incredible. Also got some crispy bacon. A bite of cunk stew, chase it with a bite of crispy bacon. A little additional fatty crunch with the cunk stew. That's a pretty great combo. Dessert time, I got a Danish, a cheese croissant, some pina colada ice cream at eight in the morning, and a carrot cake. I don't know if this restaurant bakes their own pastries, but this is freaking amazing. Mm, crispy, flaky, buttery, sweet, absolutely perfect. Croissant's not bad either. Mm, carrot cake is good. Ice cream is fantastic. Like I said, this is definitely one of the most loaded breakfast buffets I've ever been to. Pretty much whatever you're craving for breakfast, whether it's cereal, pastries, pancakes, omelets, Indian, Chinese, Mexican, local food, it's all there. Oh, actually, it's one more thing I want to get for breakfast. Right, actually, two more things, but we'll get this one first. I really love this mackerel, but I wanted it with some starch, so I made a steamed mackerel taco. Oh, so good. This has definitely been one of the best breakfast buffets I've been to in a long while. Pretty much something for everybody. If you are ever in the Bahamas, highly recommend. And of course, gotta leave with a popsicle. Mm. Well, that's it for my time here in the Bahamas. I'm gonna head off to Toronto for a few days. So, see you guys over there. It's a beautiful rainy day here in Toronto. Every time I come to Toronto, gotta get some Chinese food. The Chinese food scene here, I think it's the best in North America. And this place I haven't been to yet, this place is called Shanxi Long Tongjia. This looks as authentic as they come. Yang Pi cold wheat noodles. Oh, I miss those crunchy sprouts. Noodles are so bouncy and chewy. Chewy sauce to soak in gluten. Mm. I wish I could have got one of each item on the menu. I got a lot of stuff though. When you get lamb pea, you gotta get the pork burger. This thing looks like it has a lot of juice inside. Nice big fatty chunks stuffed with meat. The bun is nice and toasty on the outside. Mm. This place is really, really good. This is absolutely phenomenal. Let's invite into this. The pork is like a waterfall of juice. Savory, fatty, umami-filled juice. The bun is deliciously toasty on the outside. Perfect little crunch. And I saved my liang pi leftover sauce to dunk this in, because that is just how you're supposed to eat this. Absolutely perfect. This is the cumin beef with chilies. This looks really good as well. Tastes like what I had in China. The meat they're using is fatty beef, which is not traditional, but the perfect use of cumin and chilies, so good. Of course, what's a good Xi'an meal without some biang biang noodles? And here, they give you some bok choy, some tomatoes and eggs, and some minced beef. 
beautiful chew. Tomatoes and eggs and noodles, a little sweet, eggy. Mm. This thing is very meaty as well. Super saucy noodles with just the most perfect texture. Mm. And make sure to add some hot oil to this. Little vinegar, mix that in. Mm. Even better. Bam Bam noodles, my favorite noodles in the world. One last dish I got, pork dumplings and sour soup. Soup is super vinegary. Dumplings nice and fatty and juicy. It's just a perfect combination. I like to make a really, really vinegary and very spicy. This is the perfect meal for a rainy day. To me, this is just the most ultimate Chinese comfort food. I feel like I, I've scratched a craving itch today that has been there for a long, long time. This place is absolutely phenomenal. After some noodles, Let's go grab some tacos. These are really, really interesting. I'm here with Naveen and Rishi, and you guys created some really unique tacos. Tell yeah. us about it. You know, we wanted to make our own twist on it, so they're South Asian inspired tacos. Rather than tortillas, we use uh, homemade naan. And nice. we have like butter chicken, our uh, beef kebab, our goat curry. I'm so excited to try this. I love trying out new innovative foods. Indian taco, never had that before. Buttered chicken. The tortilla is a homemade grilled naan, perfectly toasted by the way. It looks to be beautifully puffy and airy, nicely charred on the outside. Inside, saucy buttered chicken, crispy onions, cilantro, sour cream sauce, and cheese. This is freaking ridiculous. This is not as simple as putting buttered chicken inside a toasted naan. From texture to flavor, very carefully thought out. And you taste that meticulous food planning. This tastes like a taco. First of all, every single element of this just screams delicious. The naan is perfectly airy, wonderfully toasty on the outside. This thing is buttery, it's garlicky, pretty much melts in your mouth. And then when you bite into it, you get that saucy butter chicken. It's rich, it's creamy, it's citrusy. And that crunchy onion is genius in here. I love that little bits of crunch. And when you're eating it, it satisfies both your Indian food craving and your taco craving. Kid you not, yeah, I'm trying one of every taco. This is the devil shrimp. Looks like some cabbage, carrots, cilantro, cheese over prawns. The paneer with their signature lime cilantro sour cream. This is the beef kebab. There's some tomatoes, lettuce, and some spicy mayo on top. And finally, goat. Let's try this devil shrimp. As soon as you grab the taco in your hand, that overwhelming aroma of butter and garlic and char just overwhelms you. Mmm, this is so ridiculous. Beautifully tender shrimp. I think some sauteed onions in there as well to provide a hint of sweetness. Refreshing crunch from the cabbage. Again, the awesome buttery garlicky non shell. Ton of heat, giant shrimp inside that are plump and juicy. Bite into that, you get some of that sweetness as well. That one might be my favorite. The heat, the flavor, everything is pretty much intoxicating. This is the paneer. This might be the richest one. And if you love paneer, you will absolutely adore this. One bite, you get that awesome nutty paneer. At the same time, wonderful crunch again from the fried onions. The flavor is intense, it's balanced, and all you wanna do is just take another bite. This one is so buttery and cheesy. Again, with that delicious citrusy lime sauce that cuts through the richness and that just highlights that nutty flavor of the cheese. Three tacos down. This has definitely been a roller coaster of flavor. Every single taco is way different than the other. Let's try the beef kebab next. Yeah, every single taco, so distinctively different and one more delicious than the next. This thing is great. Meaty with a refreshing sweet pot from the tomato, loaded with spices and heat. Kebab is perfect. It's got a nice smoky char flavor to it. The spicy mayo is creamy, lettuce and tomatoes, a little bit of a refreshing break from the heat. It really just enhances the flavor of the kebab. I think that one might be the most flavorful one. I'm really looking forward to this next one. This is goat cilantro lime sauce. Wow. That goat is delicious. All sorts of different spices. The meat itself, incredibly tender and juicy. 
and all that sauce and spices, it's just steeped into the naan. Good amount of heat in here as well. You taste the smokiness of the cumin, the coriander. It's just one of the most flavorful tacos you will ever eat. No gaminess. All the spices just works with the ghost so well. I definitely recommend if you come here, get these piping hot from the kitchen. So the naan is toasting, all the spices are singing. That is the best way to enjoy this. This is such a unique concept. I've never heard of Indian tacos before. And if you are a fan of Indian food, or a fan of tacos, highly recommend trying this place out. This will leave you feeling so satisfied and hooked. And it left me absolutely stuffed. And a perfect ending to this short but awesome food day. I'll be thinking about this for a while. Oh, actually, they also have dessert. A little Biscoff cheesecake. Buttery, crumbly. That is a perfect ending to this awesome food day. As always, all the places I went to listed down below for you. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.